Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video of numbers, I'm going to show you how to work with multiple rows, columns, and the whole table itself. In the last video, I kind of went over uh, working with individual cells and rows and columns, but this one I'm going to kind of show you a little bit more, go in a little bit more detail. So let's say you wanted to adjust the size of the table itself. So you're just going to tap it and then see the little button up here, the little circle with a, with a little circle inside it right here. I'm going to click that and when I clicked that or tapped it I should say, it automatically brought up these, th see these three blue dots right in the corner, in like the middle right, bottom right, and the middle on the bottom. So if you grab on those, it's going to allow you to move and adjust the size. So if that's me on the corner right there, and then it kind of will balance out there, or you can move it this way, just on the right dot, or up and down with just the left or the middle dot. And so that's kind of basically it for adjusting the table sizes as the table itself. And now let's go into, um, let's work with like selecting an entire row. So let's go ahead and look at like this gas row. To adjust or to select a specific row, the little bar here on the left that kind of outlines where each row sits kind of shows you exactly where we're at in the table. So if you do that, when you select an entire row, you just click that, or you can click that and highlight all the way down and select multiple rows. But let's just go ahead and click this gas row. And so when you click that, it gives you a bunch of different options. It's going to be very similar options to columns, but I'll go over columns in a second because the columns offers one more other thing. But you got cut, copy, paste, delete, insert, fit, hide, and create chart. And so pretty much everything you need to do is right there at your fingertips. So let's say I wanted to move gas up to under work. So what I'm going to do the easiest way is just hit cut and then hit on work and then type paste. And then you can either paste the formulas or paste the values. In this one, I, all I want to do is paste values. I don't really have any formulas there, but I'm just going to click paste values. So I actually put it above work, but it's right above, yeah, above work. So it's gas is right there. But if you don't want it right there, you click it undo, click on food, and then hit paste. And paste values again, moves it to that spot. Pretty easy there. Now let's look at another thing for uh, this. So you got insert. Insert is just going to add an entire column right above it. You don't want that there, you'll want it the one below it. Click there and hit insert. Now there's also hide, so you're like, okay, well, I don't want the data in there quite yet, so you can hit hide, and that one's gonna be there. But if you click that again, you can hit unhide rows, and then it'll bring it right back up. So if you hide it, see now that thing's not, it's only there because there's a row hidden. Or you could delete, hide this one. We'll actually go ahead and delete this one altogether because that row's got nothing in it, so hit delete there. Pretty straightforward. So that's how cut, copy, and paste works and everything else. So let's go ahead and look at um, uh, let's look at the columns next. So if you look, if you just the same way, just type on that little bar above it. And as you can see here, you actually got another option, which is called sort. And sort means it's going to allow you to uh, sort the list by ascending or descending. And it's going to automatically pick the values of whatever you got going on. So this I'm working with currencies, but it already knows what I'm working with. So I hit sort, and then it's going to ask whether I sort ascending or descending. Let's go ahead and descending. Automatically puts it in order. Let's say I wanted to switch that again. I wanted to ascend ascending. So there it goes. Automatically switches it for you with very minimal work on your part. And so the last little bit of working with columns and multiple rows and columns and things like that is what we could do is let's, like, let's go like this and go like this, select all three of those. Let's click the detail brush. And so this will make all the stuff together the same. So let's get rid of the strike through. Let's get rid of the underline. Let's get rid of the italicized. Let's just keep bold. Let's center it. You can center it not only in the cell from left to right, but also in the middle of the cell itself. And then let's go... Uh, Let's go into text options and actually make this a little bit, a little bit smaller. I think 16 looks good. And color, let's go ahead and change that to a dark purple, or let's go to black. That might be or white looks good. Okay, and so and let's go ahead and change the font as well. Let's go to like the chalkboard. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And so now that all this text is the same size, it's see how February is kind of messed up there. What we want to do here is click that and then click fit. And so see how it automatically tried to line that up? Let's go ahead and try to change that again. And hit it along here. Hit fit. And then select all of these and hit fit. 
Um, I'm not working for this one for some reason. There we go. I'm not sure why it was acting that way. But let's do that again, hit fit. And so now it lined it up. For some reason it was just, maybe it's how I got the, how I have it formatted, which would be a reason why that's not working like that. But you saw how easy I fixed that um, with that Y being dropped down like that. It's, it was a quick fix. I mean, it took me less than a few seconds. So that's basically it for working with multiple rows and columns. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, and that is basically it. If you have any questions, email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or go to yourmachelpers.com and click the help tab. Thanks.